This is the advanced airway station or the super glottic airway station for the advanced DMT psychomotor exam. Uh, so very quickly about the equipment, there'll be an airway mannequin on the floor. Uh, as far as the other equipment, we'll have an oxygen tank, oxygen cylinder with tubing as well as a BVM and mask, a stethoscope. And then as far as the airways themselves, we have some oral airways. Uh, there'll probably be some nasal airways out. And then there's going to be the superglottic airway uh, that you choose. Now during the station, there'll be an eye gel, there'll be a combi tube, and the king airway. So it'll, it'll be your choice. In this video, we're gonna show you the eye gel. So once you come into the station, um, they're gonna give you a, a moment to look over the equipment. Uh, so feel free to, to go ahead and, and test out the equipment, make sure that everything that you have is gonna work um, you know, when you go through the station. All right, so as we get ready to get started, uh, once you let the examiner know that you're ready, they're gonna give you a scenario. It'll be some, you know, some scenario where you have a male patient who's apneic uh, but has a pulse. So and there may be some additional scenario around it, but for what we're concerned about is that they're not breathing, but they still have a pulse, the scene is safe um, for you to go in. So when we get ready to start the station, all right, we're gonna go ahead and begin. We're gonna have our scene safety, look around, right, and have our BSI on. We're gonna approach the patient, right? When we approach the patient, we're gonna go ahead and open up the airway and grab our bag valve mask and give a breath. Okay, so we look for that chest rise. Once we know that we have an open airway, we're gonna go ahead and measure and insert our oral airway. And the examiner will tell you that your patient accepts the oral airway and does not have a gag reflex. And so now we're gonna bag our patient one breath every five to six seconds. So while you're ventilating the patient, the examiner, after about 30 seconds, they're going to tell you that your ventilations are being performed without difficulty. However, the patient's SpO2 is low, so maybe it's 82%. So at that point, we're going to go ahead and attach oxygen at our 15 liters per minute. Make sure the oxygen is on, and we're going to continue our ventilation. Okay, with every ventilation, make sure that you're watching for adequate chest rise. We wanna see that chest just start to rise. After about a total of, of a minute of you ventilating the patient, the examiner is going to take their stethoscope and they're gonna to listen to the lung sounds and say that lung sounds are present, equal bilateral, and medical control orders the insertion of an advanced airway or a supraglottic airway. So once they tell me that, I'm gonna go ahead and have the evaluator uh, or the assistant go ahead and take over ventilations and provide uh, ventilations with oxygen. One breath every five to six seconds. So while they take over ventilations, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my superglottic airway. So I would remove the eye gel from the package Make sure that our strap is good. And my patient's gonna be pre-oxygenated for a minimum of 30 seconds. We've already been oxygenating them. So as soon as this device is ready to go, uh, we should be set. So I'm gonna take my uh, eye gel and we're gonna put some water soluble lubricant on the distal tip of the eye gel. You can also use um, the, the case itself and they'll tell you to put it on the case and then you can use that to get the water soluble lubricant on the, on the eye gel. Okay, so when we're ready to insert uh, the airway, I'm gonna go ahead and let my partner know that after your next breath, uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove the airway and I'll insert the eye gel. Okay, so after your next breath, go ahead and remove.
Okay, so from this point, we have the 30 seconds. The oral airway comes out. We're going to uh, in a tongue jaw lift, and then we're going to displace the airway down. Eye gel is going to slide in. I'm going to take the BVM, and while holding the eye gel in place, I'm going to give a breath, make sure that we have chest rise. So at this point, I'm going to have my partner continue to uh, ventilate the patient while while I listen to lung sounds, make sure that we have a good seal. And so I'm going to have them give a breath, give a breath, and we're going to listen over epigastric. So I have lung sounds present, no epigastric sounds. So we're going to go ahead and secure our eye gel in place. Okay, once that's in place, I'm going to go ahead and Attach my capnography. Uh, this would, of course, be attached to whatever um, device that you have. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach my capnography um, to verify by secondary means that we have good insertion. And then I can go ahead and take over ventilations, continuing to ventilate one breath every six seconds. And then towards the end of it, the examiner is going to ask you, how do you know that you're giving adequate ventilations? And of course, the way that we determine adequate ventilations is that with each ventilation, I should see proper rise and fall of the chest. And so once we've, once we've said that, uh, we can go ahead and end the station, and that would be then complete.